So uh, I'm going to uh, talk about this theme of neoliberalism and uh, critical literacy is the question of agency. Uh, my, my take on the, the, the issue was to try to find a connection in, in, uh, between uh, the, the theme of neoliberalism, which we are uh, uh, dealing with, and my own research on uh, teaching literature in the context of uh, teacher education courses in Brazil, English teacher education, uh, from the perspective of critical, critical literacy. So uh, my idea was to, th and, and this is a, a, a reflection that I did not uh, uh, have uh, in my own uh, uh, work. So this was an opportunity to try to, try to think about what I, I did uh, from that perspective, but try to open up a little bit uh, uh, my practice and, and the analysis that I had uh, in terms of, of uh, 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 taking this uh, uh, perspective of neoliberal uh, <coughs> presence in, in, in uh, contemporary life and uh, uh, reflecting on my work from that perspective. So, uh, let's enter this one. Uh, like I said, uh, then to connect this neoliberal ne uh, neoliberalism theme to my own practice, uh, and, and that means, uh, and I think that's more than uh, uh, just a choice of an approach, but uh, a necessity from the, the standpoint uh, uh, where I speak, because uh, from the perspective of, of critical literacies, uh, our studies are uh, uh, commonly grounded on social practices, on our own practices, and uh, then the idea for me, or the task for me, the challenge was to bring these notions that are more uh, homogenizing of what neoliberalism is, of, of, of what uh, uh, contemporary uh, notions of neoliberalism and, and its presence in society are, and uh, try to narrow it down uh, to find connections, to find, uh, not in a deterministic way, to find relations of causality between these uh, abstractions and my own practice, but to try to find uh, 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 that I come from the literary uh, studies field, a metaphorical language to imagine uh, connections and uh, analogical uh, possibilities between the, the larger category of neoliberalism and the uh, uh, specific reality of my, my own practice. Uh, I'm not going to go through this because uh, it's probably common ground, but it just uh, I, I'm, I'm not going to draw uh, on any specific chapter of the book, but just on the notion of neoliberalism uh, uh, as a whole. Uh, and uh, of course, the base, basic uh, uh, principles of it, the idea of the, the rule of the market uh, uh, as uh, uh, its dominant notion, probably. Consequently, shrinking government, sh shrinking public services. So in education, that would uh, probably mean uh, diminishing uh, 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 the presence of government in uh, uh, public education, deregulation, privatization. Uh, and of course, how it, it has been uh, connected to the uh, advances of late capitalism or new capitalism and the, the process of globalization. But uh, I, I decided to take a specific uh, interest in one aspect of it, of it which I think uh, is uh, more meaningful to reflect upon my own practices, uh, which is uh, this relation between uh, the rationality of the system uh, that uh, it is, according to uh, uh, Ashish Nandi, uh, uh, present in, in the notion of uh, neo the, uh, neoliberal notion of democracy, uh, its connection to freedom, and then uh, uh, to uh, the cult of personality, individualism in our, in our society. But I'm going to develop that, uh, 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 I guess, a little bit later on. It, but uh, in a nutshell, uh, the idea is then that uh, uh, one of the, the uh, basic elements of uh, uh, this neoliberal notion of democracy then uh, is that uh, the system itself, uh, the economic system we are talking about mainly, uh, is not questioned and its rationality, its rationality then is taken for granted. Uh, so uh, when we uh, uh, the idea is then that uh, uh, freedom comes from uh, uh, freedom, freedom of commerce, the, the, uh, the rule of the market, but freedom in all, on all levels um, uh, would then come from this uh, uh, limitless possibility of action. Uh, but the, 
the ground for that or the, the limitations for that freedom are never stated because uh, uh, that it is implied that the limitations for the freedom are the system itself. So freedom, uh, uh, you can go wherever you want, you can buy whatever you want, but of course the rules of the system, the rules of late capitalism <coughs> are uh, underlying uh, that notion of, of freedom, right? Uh, and of course, uh, this notion then of freedom uh, is connected to the cult uh, of individualism in our society. According to Bauman, uh, once cast as individuals, uh, 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 since we do not have to negotiate any uh, 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 social conditions for uh, our, our existence because they are given, they are the system in place, so we, we, we can uh, 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 just take them for granted. Uh, so we are cast as individuals, we are now uh, 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 living on our own and are free to live on our uh, on our own and live live to free our uh, free to live our lives uh, accordingly. So we are encouraged to actively seek social recognition for what has been pre-interpreted as our our individual choices. Right? Uh, no, uh, even the notion of social value, the notion of social recognition, uh, comes <coughs> from or is interpreted as our. Uh, individual uh, uh, choice, our individual performance. Um, okay, uh, I'd like to play. A, I don't think the time will allow me. I'm not going to play the video. I, I, I'm sensing I'm going to have problems with time. But anyway, uh, the video I was going to show <coughs> is uh, yeah. Uh, the video I was going to show uh, was uh, Obama talking about Brazilian democracy. 50, 50 seconds, but the time I'm. I'm going to take to put it on, it's, gonna, it's not going to be worth it. But he was praising uh, Brazilian democracy when he visited Brazil, saying that it was uh, this wonderful system uh, shared uh, uh, between Brazil and the United States, etc., etc. But I, I just wanted to take that as an example of uh, this neoliberal discourse on democracy uh, that first uh, sort of states or recognizes <coughs> the triumph of democracy uh, in uh, a contemporary world, right? Uh, again, uh, this triumph of democracy is uh, uh, part of that rationality of the system. Uh, it's not questioned, it's not to be questioned that uh, democracy is part of this neoliberal thinking. And uh, when you have this uh, democracy, then you have, just have to think, don't have to think about social uh, uh, negotiation of that uh, element anymore. You just negotiate individual lives, individual interests, individual uh, dreams and uh, 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 everything is sort of resolved on the individual level, right? Anyway, um, but uh, uh, according to Ashis Nandi, uh, this notion of democracy that triumphs, that represents a neoliberal thinking, is a very narrow notion, notion of democracy. Uh, it, it, it could be uh, summarized by the idea of periodic elections, multi-party system, free press, and a reasonably free uh, judiciary, and this is democracy, right? Um, so, uh, the same author uh, then points to us that the idea of political participation, uh, once that rationality has been established as, as, as unquestionable, <coughs> the idea of political participation, which is, which, be, uh, which would be the individual responsibility to the social, uh, is uh, 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 emptied. Uh, and uh, politics then as such, as uh, 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 the relation between individual responsibility and social, the social structure, uh, is uh, becomes meaningless. So uh, politics as a reality show, a video game you watch on TV, uh, uh, but it's dissociated from uh, 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 the actual uh, possibility of uh, participation in social life. You know? It becomes then uh, 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 so uh, being. Uh, politically active in this democracy means voting every four years or whatever. Uh, but then again, we have to think about uh, the rationality of the system again and what voting means uh, uh, as participation. Uh, it is the freedom to vote, it is freedom, but then again, this freedom uh, uh, does not uh, allow for uh, rupture, for negotiations, for critique of the system in place, of its rationality that's already established. Right? Uh, Brazil, uh, uh, in Brazil, I think, even outside, uh, this idea of the rationality of the system is always expressed, uh, is usually expressed as the, the technical uh, capability of our 
uh, uh, elections, uh, the, mach the voting machines, it's their efficiency, that we are able to count our uh, uh, votes and have the results hours uh, after the election is done. So anyway, um, just to provoke us a little bit, I, uh, this is a candidate in our elections, uh, uh, Chiririca, uh, needs some context, but just uh, he's a, a, a clown. Uh, <laughs> And he was, he was elected based on this uh, motto, uh, vote for Tiririca because it can't get any worse than it already is. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, and he was elected, yeah? Uh, but just think, to think about that idea then of participation and uh, 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 the possibilities of the first the, yeah. yeah. But the thing, I'm, I'm not really, uh, because the discourse was in Brazil largely of criticizing uh, voters for uh, uh, electing him, uh, but I want to do. I, I want to read it differently. I, I want to read it as uh, uh, a sort of legitimate choice, uh, if it expresses uh, disillusionment, uh, disenchantment uh, towards that impossibility of change that the rationality of the system in place establishes. So it doesn't really make much of a difference if you vote for the for the uh, or enlightened or whatever or no. yeah, because again. <coughs> Uh, the freedom that is established on the surface of this uh, process will not allow for, uh, a, 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 uh, at least, a, a, a deep critique of the system. I'm not saying that the voting is, uh, don't get me wrong, that there is no change, that, that, but uh, uh, there is this uh, very uh, strong uh, uh, um, element of uh, stability and the stability of the system, of the rationality of the system that remains. Anyway, um, so <coughs> our dreams uh, don't fit in their uh, uh, voting ballots. Uh, now it's there, uh, but I think this is the idea uh, again. Well, um, I'm going to move on just to mention because we had a strike, uh, a federal university professor strike in Brazil. Uh, and again, a lot of that strike has to do with uh, again, the, the, the neoliberal discourse uh, 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 and, and we could uh, 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 sort of explore it here, right? But just to say that even the uh, Dilma government, supposedly a uh, leftist, very uh, old-fashioned and maybe inadequate term, but anyway, the history would have placed her on the left, uh, is now... Uh, 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 legitimizing its uh, 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 <coughs> educational policy in terms of efficiency, uh, fear of chaos, which means fear of participation, control, predictability, measurability, uh, again, uh, uh, thinking in terms of the, what is rational, what is possible, what is realistic, and that is also what is realistic means uh, uh, what the rationality of the system allows. Um, moving on. Yeah. Just that. Okay. Uh, again, on the same, I'm, I'm going to move on to my practice because it's what I have to do. Anyway, so uh, what about classroom practice? Because I've been talking about uh, 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 neoliberalism, neoliberal discourse in Brazil, and uh, uh, what about my practice? Mm -hmm. The way I see I can connect this interest I had in the rationality of the system, its relation to freedom, a certain uh, understanding of what freedom is. Uh, and, and, the cult, uh, and individualism. Uh, I would uh, uh, use a term that is uh, uh, widespread uh, among our studies here in, in uh, critical literacies, which is the idea of agency. According to Giddens, uh, not according to, I'm not quoting, but uh, paraphrasing, he understands agency as a relational <coughs> process in which the individual uh, and the group negotiate dialectically, dialogically uh, 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 their positions, their meanings, their uh, 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 stances, uh, self and other, uh, and in which action derives from intentionality in the articulation of the human potential to act, historically situated, which the collective agenda, meaning then the system in place, assumptions, systems of knowledge, interests, powers, etc., etc., a struggle between dependence and autonomy. Uh, this concept of, of agency uh, then if we transfer to the political examples that uh, I used, uh, uh, would uh, uh, call for a different uh, relationship between uh, what the 
system is and what uh, uh, the individual participation is of negotiation, of uh, 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 tension and uh, uh, dialectic relation between uh, 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 these two instances, right? Uh, but now I'm not talking about politics anymore, I'm talking about uh, uh, classroom practice. And I'm not going to have the time to show, please ask questions about it if you're curious, but uh, I was going to, to <laughs> uh, talk about a uh, uh, teaching practice of mine uh, working with literature and using uh, 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 a blog discussion to interpret literary texts. Um, basically, the idea is that I see this as a site, and uh, I can see it now. Uh, thanks, Brian, for the, the the invitation to to reflect on this on this topic. I can see it now, uh, uh, also in terms of its uh, analogy or metaphor to the larger political context that. We, we were, I, I was discussing before. And I can see it now in terms of a, 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 a practice that may try to create a, 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 a different relation, relation between what is the individual and I'm going to move on here. I'm not going to explain what the, uh, but what the, in, in terms of, uh, I didn't explain what the practice is, but I think I can give you an idea at least of how I see uh, uh, that uh, those neoliberal principles may be uh, uh, disturbed, at least uh, within that practice. Now, it, I'm not saying that I, uh, uh, it happened, but I'm saying that at least uh, in terms of the design of the practice, uh, this is the, uh, uh, an intention that can be found between it, what we intend to do as, as uh, uh, practitioners of education and what we do, there's a very uh, uh, big difference. But anyway, uh, I think it is a start to design practice uh, having in mind uh, something that, uh, uh, in, in my view, uh, could, re uh, could somehow resonate. Uh, 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 I'm not saying uh, that, I'm not talking about cause and effect, and this will lead to that, but I'm saying that this, this is social practice. People are doing this in my classrooms. So it somehow is in the world the same way our voting and our uh, strikes are in the world, right? Uh, anyway, uh, so in terms of content, in terms of epistemology, in terms of methodology, in terms of the use of technology, uh, the idea was uh, to uh, find uh, resources that would foster the agency uh, uh, thinking about it on those terms. Uh, and uh, uh, I'm, I'm not going to elaborate on that, but the, uh, I can see today that that practice would have uh, uh, this dialogue with the larger neoliberal context. To, to conclude, uh, I just want to uh, use another term, this one uh, from Bourdieu. Uh, the way he uses the word interest, uh, I think uh, uh, it's, a, it's an interesting uh, metaphor for both politics and pedagogy. He, he uses, he sees interest uh, uh, in terms of, of this relation between uh, uh, structure and uh, uh, in individual uh, as uh, as it, in English it, it, it expresses both on the one side uh, interest as financial interest so monetary interest and in this sense it is connected to that idea of the individualism of uh, 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 how do I benefit from uh, uh, the context uh, how do I gain from it and, and this would be then the neoliberal my interpretation side of it but then interest is also interest the verb to be interested in. Uh, and in that sense, he uses interest as uh, a sign of the willingness of the subject to take part in the game, to participate in the game. And in that sense, interest then is not what I gain from it, but interest is uh, how uh, uh, my uh, desire first to, to live uh, in dialogue with, uh, intention with, of course, but uh, uh, the larger community and negotiating uh, because I'm, I have interest, because I have accepted uh, my existence, not as individual existence, but accepted my existence as uh, existence, ethical existence in relation to the other. Uh, so I will leave this term as a metaphor to both politics and practice. Thank you.